In years past, there might have been one state that was trying to pass a controversial anti-trans bill, and now it's so many, many states. Suzanne Ford is the executive director of San Francisco Pride, and she's referring to the nearly 500 bills currently being tracked by the ACLU, taking aim at LGBTQ plus rights. My phone was ringing off the hook about all this anti-queer legislation, especially anti-trans legislation. And people wanted to know, what are you going to do about it? And SF Pride answered, planning its first human rights summit. Lawmakers and activists from across the country will gather Thursday at the Commonwealth Club of California. We wanted to concentrate the media and attention on the issue of all these red states, mostly red states, and the problem out there facing the community with hate. Montana's first transgender lawmaker, Zoe Zephyr, will also be joining the conversation. She made national headlines earlier this year after being censored by the state house. We don't want to assume that we know what you need in those states. And so we want to get, get everyone together, get on the same page, and find out what we can do to help them. So the homophobia and transphobia we're seeing in government, in the community, including in California, is absolutely terrifying. And it really reminds us that we need to be organized and fight back. Just this past weekend in Petaluma, protests outside a drag queen story time. And in L.A., pushback while the Dodgers honored the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. In San Francisco, a nonprofit serving LGBTQ plus youth for decades is also under threat. For the past 15 months, we've actually experienced three direct bomb threats. And Ford says that's exactly why this summit is as important as ever. Human rights in the Bay Area, you can't take, just take that for granted. We have issues here, too, and we need to talk about those also. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.